What's up, y'all? Welcome to Ty's Learning Adventures, and this is going to be a high-flying episode, I guarantee it. This time, it's going to be a rubber band-powered wooden airplane, and this thing is supposed to be pretty cool. Uh, they say that it flies up to 250 to 300 feet. Uh, that's pretty far, but we're in a big soccer field today. It goes up in the air by about 25 to 30 feet. So that's pretty high. Action! Action! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so anyway, this thing is uh, made by Gylos, if I'm saying that correctly. Gylos, there. Okay. Look at there, made in the USA. All right, all right. Okay, so. It's hand launched or it can rise off the ground. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It can rise off the ground, take off like a real airplane. Right, there we go. 17 inch wingspan, uh, also wood, which is supposed to be a really good type of durable, lightweight wood. It does have instructions on the back. All right. And this one looks like it was purchased at Hobby Lobby. For like what $9.99 all right and it was given to us this was donated to us by a really good friend of mine uh, and one of our subscribers what's up Bruce thank you for your support sir what's up Bruce so we're ready to see how this thing goes we're gonna unbox it and put it together and we'll let y'all check that out here we go So we got it assembled. Uh, oops. I don't think we need that part. But anyway, there is a hidden piece in here. Um, and there was a couple of pieces. We had the fin here. And then we've got this little, uh, I guess that's going to be the uh, cockpit or whatever. Anyway, this goes on there. It's going to help it fly, I'm sure. Uh, all that, you just kind of punch it out. It's kind of a punch out perforated piece of wood just comes out all right so let's get that in there real fast so let's see it goes this way all right oh <laughs> just like a little airplane going off just kind of got to wedge it in there work it back and forth a little bit and as you can see in in the assembly um, I had to kind of clear out some of these slots here for this main fin for sure uh, so you, you can just take you a little, uh, you know, knife or some kind of little tool and do that. This is how the propeller is powered. Okay, so it's got a hook right there. See the hook spinning around? Then there's another little hidden hook there. Well, obviously, you just connect one end of the rubber band. To the other end of the rubber band. Right, both ends. Hook on. Yep. Uh -oh. Make sure that hook, that hook's kind of sharp. You got to be careful because it's sharp and you can puncture the rubber band. Okay, you don't want to puncture the rubber band. Because it'll, obviously it'll break, it'll weaken the rubber band and it'll break. Mm -hmm. So you have to wind this up clockwise, alright? You have to wind the rubber band up clockwise. Wind the propeller clockwise. They say you do 80 rotations. So that's quite a few, and I'll be doing this for a minute. So stay tuned. 80 rotations.
So that was 80 rotations and it did go pretty far. It's on out there. And yes, the wind is blowing. Uh, we didn't know if that was gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, but it did go pretty far. So 80 rotations is pretty good. Next up, we're gonna try 100 rotations. This wing right here keeps coming off, this fin here. Uh, you can adjust everything here. I personally am gonna end up wood gluing this on here uh, once I get it figured out. Uh, this really, it adjusts a little bit, but it shouldn't need too much adjustment. Most of the adjusting is gonna be done with this main wing here. Okay, that's just me, I'm thinking wood glue. All right, that's 100 turns of the propeller, all right? Here we go. Okay, so we had a little bit of a malfunction here. Fortunately, we have this little backup plane, all right? We, we have another one here that came in the box. This one here is on a smaller scale. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. All right, rubber band's a little bit shorter. Everything's a little bit smaller on this one. So we'll see how it compares to the bigger version. And by the way, here you go. Thank you, Ty. So what happened is this piece has split on us there that holds that little tail wing this piece has split okay so what we're gonna do is try to glue this back and see if we can't repair it but for now we're gonna try out the smaller version let's see what happens Well, it landed. <laughs> well, that was cool. Yes, Ty, that did uh, turn out to be pretty fun, uh, you know, maybe even more so than it looked. You know, this, this smaller plane seems a little bit more durable, but the bigger one seemed like it flew a little better, obviously. It flew a little further. Uh, but again, the wind is blowing. It's going to have to be taken into consideration as well. Uh, but these things are really cool, and we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, Fortunately, we did have this little backup plane, uh, courtesy, again, of my good buddy and subscriber, Bruce. Once again, thank you, sir. We appreciate your support so much. Yeah, thank you, Bruce. And uh, that wraps it up. And we hope y'all enjoyed this video. And we definitely love making these videos for y'all. Well, guys, until next time, peace. We love y'all. Woo! <laughs>